Hello, and welcome to the Edworth Daily Devotion. Before we begin, let us pray. Lord, we thank you for another day. We thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to read your word. Please prepare our hearts and our minds. In Jesus' name, amen. Friends, today we'll be coming from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 16, verse 1, and then we're going to read verses 10 through 13. And it reads, the Lord said to Samuel, how long will you mourn for Saul since I have rejected him as king over Israel? Fill your horn with oil and be on your way. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem. I have chosen one of his sons to be king. Jesse had seven of his sons pass before Samuel. But Samuel said to him, the Lord has not chosen these. So he asked Jesse, are these all the sons you have? They are still the youngest, Jesse answered. He is tending the sheep. Samuel said, send for him. We will not sit down until he arrives. So he sent for him and had him brought in. He was glowing with health and had a fine appearance and handsome features. Then the Lord said, rise and anoint him. This is the one. So Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers. And from that day on, the spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon David. Samuel then went to Ramah. Friends, today I want us to extract from this and and talk about a new thing. A new thing. You say, DJ, what do you mean? How did you get that from this? What I feel the Holy Spirit is telling me, is telling you that there is a new thing that he wants to do. And some of you can relate. Maybe you have gone through it. Maybe you're going through it now. But there's times in life that situations will die. Right. It may be I'm getting ready to retire. It may be this phase of my life where my kids live with me and and now they're getting ready to go off to college and I'm an empty nester. Someone physically, a family member in my life may have transitioned on to be with the father. But regardless, that situation is done. And that's what we see right here with Samuel. It started out, the Lord said, how long will you mourn for Saul since I have rejected him as king of Israel? And basically he's saying, hey, get your horn of oil, go select and pour oil on the new king. And so let the Holy Spirit talk to you right now. What is is dead that you still pondering over day after day that you know you need to move on? And the Lord is saying, hey, I got a new thing that I, 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 I but you need to get up from that. You need to move on and go. And then guess what? When you go, it's not going to be the first thing you see. You might say, hey, I want a relationship. I want this. I want that. But it may not be the first thing that you see. You might say, hey, DJ, I want to go to college. You may not get into the first college. Because here we see when Samuel went to the house of Jesse, how many sons did he have that went past him? Seven. That's a lot of disappointment. And so here it is. It may be a relationship. It may be a job. It may be a business endeavor. You may start trying to write that book that you say, Lord, put this book on my heart. And you went through seven different manuscripts. Don't give up. Don't give up. Keep going. Why? Keep looking because it took all the way until uh, he had to ask, do you not have any more sons? And David was the eighth. And David was out in the field tending to the flock. They had to call him in. And and when he came in, he was anointed. And so what am I saying to you today? I'm saying that if there's something that is dead, something that is not there anymore, it's okay to move on. And when you move on, stay in prayer. And it may not be the first thing that you see. Keep looking and God will show it to you. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this lesson today. We thank you, Lord, for the lesson of of endurance, the lesson of patience that you're showing us right here in this story. We love you and we praise you. Amen.